What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Hang on a sec. Oh, baby. I got to fix up this mic here a little bit. There we go. There we go. Let's bring this thing up here a little closer. All right. Who's in the house? Gloria. Good to see you. Elisa. Elisa. Jeez, I think I'm jacking that up every time. Can you please tell me how to pronounce your name? <laughs> Elisa. <laughs> Elisa. I just, I don't know. Every time I'm I'm a little bit, um, I'm a little unsure. Jerry's in the house. Chaz, Ron. Larry's in the house. All right, I like it. I like it. I'm going to pull this open over here. Hang on. Oh, oh, there we go. All right, Eugene's in the house. Mark, Kevin, here they come. Here they come. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Chris, Frankie, right on. Beautiful. Good to see you. Good to see you all in here. All right, well, happy. Can you guys hear me okay? It's like Lisa. Elise. Elisa. Yeah. All right. Dang. I was on it. All right. Um, how we doing, everybody? Type to me. Type to me. Hey, hey. type to me, first of all, where are you calling in from? Where are you logging in from? And then, uh, and then, yeah, let me know how we're doing. How was the, well, for those of you in the U.S., how was your, how was your Thanksgiving weekend? Hopefully, you got a little time to recover, a little time back. Um, yeah, where are you calling in from? Curious just where everybody's from. I mean, not that I'm a creep or anything, but good to see you. Ger Gerson, I think it's pronounced. Uh, Steve, good to see you. Douglas, Gabriel, Donna, good to see you. Cindy's in the house. Chaz, hey. What's up, my man? All right. Wow. Okay. I, I'm also streaming this. Oh, there we go. I was also streaming my own face over here, and my video started going crazy. So I was like, geez. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm in Brazil. I live in the UK. Very cool. All right. Hendersonville, Hendersonville, North Carolina, Tennessee, ATO, Victoria, British Columbia. I love it. I, I absolutely love it going skiing in British Columbia, snowboarding, I guess. That is my all at Whistler. Oh, so good. Uh, ATL in the house. Um, north of Vancouver. All right, very cool. Love Vancouver also. Um, from the OC. All right, Orange County. I like it. All right, where else, where else, where else? Is that it? Is that it for now? I'm sure we're going to have more people coming on, but all right. Let's rock and roll. Let me move a couple of things around on my screen here. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys, this week's been going well. Uh, it's been a it's been a great 30 days. And uh, yeah, I can't, it went by quick, I think. It went by quick. Um, I'm trying to adjust this. You know what? I'm just going to have to. I'll just go for it. Uh, Illinois. All right. Nice. Just 17 miles east of St. Louis. Okay. Cool. I was just in St. Louis last month, a couple weeks ago. Victoria at the bottom, down under, in, down under. I like that. Uh, in Brazil. I love it. All right. Cool. Cool. Hey, um, I just wanted to address some of you have had asked a question about, you know, can we get access to this boot camp stuff ongoing or for a long time? Um, so I, I don't like to type responses to that because it, it sometimes it'll sound mean or mean spirited or something. And I mean, I think you guys know me well enough through this boot camp that you, you know, I don't really have a. I'm not really a mean guy, right? But um, but part of the boot camp, what I wanted to say about that is part of the boot camp's whole selling point, the whole angle was that you would implement things right away and, and start to get fast results, right? And it would sort of train you for a new way of being rather than sitting around on webinars and trainings and all of this stuff, right? 
um, forever. It's good when you need it, but rather than sitting around and just kind of playing house on that for all day, every day for, you know, months and months and months, the goal is that it changed your habits, adjusted your habits and, and ways of being, right? So for instance, you know, the, some, the, the typical response for people who aren't used to operating at that sort of level is like, oh my gosh, this is too much. I need this for months and months and months. The response really needs to be, oh my gosh, I just have to really ramp up my, my ability to produce. I have to ramp up my ability to produce at a higher level because like experienced over the last 30 days is just for, for people who have really successful businesses on the internet, what you experienced in the last 30 days is really just the standard operating sort of it, like a motor, right? A motor has sort of a, almost like a pace or a, a, a setting that it operates at. Okay. And so a good example is like a good example is a variable speed motor, right? So there's different speeds that a motor can operate at. It can operate at a thousand RPMs or it can operate at 6,000 RPMs, right? It can operate at full speed or 25% speed. I only know this because we had one of those on our, uh, on our pool motor, on our pool pump. And so <laughs> I'm not some fancy engineer guy, but, um, but really like for, for somebody like Dave, for instance, let's take Dave for instance I, and myself, I'm, I'm, I've learned to be in that way too. But for somebody like Dave, like the last 30 days has been really stretching and really like, oh my gosh, overwhelming, um, for most people, for most of you, uh, that's just the feedback I've been getting. And that's normal. That's pretty, that's standard. The goal of the boot camp is to get you operating at a new RPM on a daily basis. So um, anyway, that's that's the goal. I understand that you know you want access to stuff ongoing, and um, we'll think we'll think through that. Um, yeah, taking diligent notes and implementing what you've learned. Yeah, so exactly. I mean, real learning. So the deepest the deepest way to learn something is to teach it the 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 when you get to the deepest layer of learning a concept is when you start teaching it to other people that's why we say learn it do it teach it learn it use it teach it so um anyway i i mean look we might toy with the idea of just giving you access to this for a few more months or an extra 30 days or something but i really think having this on a daily basis and taking diligent notes, right? So, you know, I, I could give in, we could give into this whole, this whole notion of we need this for forever. We need this a lot longer. You know, we need this for the next six months, but look, the reality is, 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 and that's a tempting thing for us to do because it's the easier thing for us to do. Like we don't really benefit from taking it away from anybody other than like we get questions of why do you why do you take it away but you benefit if we take it away i think i think and and i believe this because you're forced you're forced into a new way of operating you're forced into operating at a higher level and so um yeah and you're forced to actually go through the material and take diligent notes and implement it and make sure that you do it before the stuff is actually taken down. Otherwise, you're just never going to implement it, right? So just a thought. Uh, Chris Mason, can you put the videos in date order? What you need to do is go to units. Go into Facebook and go to units. And then... Um, yeah, see, I don't think I can share my screen in here, but um, let's see. No, I can't. But um, you need to go into units, and then there's day one, day two, day three, and you can see them all in order. So go into the Facebook group. Please lost access. We need to go through everything and uh, go through everything and implement again. 
Yeah, you have 30 days. So these things are going to, I mean, you're going to have access to these for 30 more days. So to me, look, I, I have empathy. I understand things come up. I understand all that stuff. But the reality is, is like you signed up for you signed up for a thirty day boot camp, right? You signed up for boot camp. Like if I go and sign up for the boot camp in the army, this is kind of how we pitched it. If I go sign up in the, for in the army for boot camp, and I show up and say, I need an extra thirty days to finish boot camp. I need an extra thirty days to implement that PT. They're like, what? No, you sign. You're here at boot camp. Like. Why'd you sign up, right? So, anyway, uh, hopefully that makes sense. Look, I'm not trying to be a hard ass. I'm not trying to be a. <laughs> I'm not trying to be a, a jerk about it. But I am like I, I I want you to have a little bit. I want people to have a little bit of an awakening about what boot camp is, what it's meant to be. It's not meant to be this. Like once you know. Anyway, I'll get off my. I'll get off my thing. Um, Gloria, I do not do one-to-one -one mentorship. Um, sorry, I don't do that. Um, I just don't have the time. I, I, I actually love to do that. I used to, but, um, I don't have the time. I mean, if I'm sure with whatever you need in terms of marketing or whatever, there's, I mean, you can reach out to, you can shoot me a message on Facebook and if I can't help, you know, then, um, there's probably group trainings or something within builder all that, that we can point you to or something. So, um, just shoot me a Facebook message. I'll at least connect you to the right person or to the right group or something like that for sure. Um, okay, Chris, I'm glad you figured that out. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, there's an old country song, a little less talk and a little more action. Oh my gosh, Chaz. Oh boy. Really, really going on one with the old, um, with that old, old throwback country song. <laughs> I, I grew up in a very small town in the in the Midwest, so I have heard that song once or twice. Yikes! <clears throat> um. Uh, are Dave and I going to do some kind of wrap up tomorrow? Um, no, Jerry, today is the wrap up for the 30 days for the 30 day boot camp. Um, we were, we were thinking about doing kind of a joint, uh, boot camp thing. It just wasn't in the, it wasn't in the schedule. So, or it wasn't, we weren't able to make the scheduling of that work out. So, um, caught you live. Not sure what I missed. Yeah, just to be very clear to everybody, you have a full all of all of December. You have a full thirty days to go back through anything you missed or rewatch anything that you missed out on or anything like that. So, yeah, I mean, you got thirty full days to go back through absolutely anything. Take tons of notes, screenshot, you know, do whatever. So, um, yeah, plenty of time, plenty of time. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I'm not saying that we might like. I'm not saying it's it's definitive. We might just not ever, ever, ever. Uh, I mean, it's within the realm of possibility that it could stay open longer. But just function as if it's only going to be open for the next thirty days. Uh, personally, and I think both just from a strategic standpoint, I think the the main feeling of these boot camps and the intention of the boot camps is instant implementation. And um, even even leaving it up for an extra 30 days was a little bit like, man, I don't know, man, maybe we don't want to keep it up that long. Maybe we just do 10 days. So 30 days was an extension from the original idea too. So, um Davida, uh, I mean, yeah, if, if you want to drop me like a link to your emails or something or your story um, in in like a post in this group, um, if I have if I have a little bit of time, I can do a little hot seat for you once the boot camp's done. Yeah, no problem. Um, 
Hey, welcome in Jason, Francisco, Eli, Wasili in the house. Good to see you, man. Liza or Lisa, good to see you. Chico's in the house. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Happy Wednesday. Good to see everybody in here. Hang on, my video just went crazy. Oh, there we go, okay. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad that you've. I'm glad you've learned a good bit from this from the boot camp. It's what's it, so so. If you guys have questions, shoot me questions here. Um, <laughs> uh, if you have questions, shoot them here. But uh, tell me, type to me like what what part of the boot camp stood out to you most, or what what are you gonna take away that's been that's been what's been most powerful let's share with each other kind of what's been most powerful week one we covered the perfect offer uh week two we covered the the perfect funnel week three was uh the perfect email and copy week four was the perfect ads getting traffic and and converting your traffic into sales what was most powerful what what stood out to you what's what's a few things that you took notes on and learned or what's you know shoot me a little feedback how to tell a story yeah that's huge you know what's crazy you know what's crazy just on the how to tell a story thing dave and i have talked a lot in the last probably two or three months just about the power of storytelling and and really how that's one of the unique things that newbies, people who are totally new, can implement, can tell story, and immediately it sort of it sort of just melts away all of the resistance. Just it's a it's a crazy thing. If you get if you can get good at that and just and just practice that more and more and more, it's it's really powerful. Um let's see. Oops, there we go how to craft an offer, building your own story, congruency, Chaz, I'm glad that that was a takeaway for you. Congruency, man, <laughs> congruency. Oh man. Um, building your own story, how to make an offer congruency. It's not just about, it's not about just writing content, but putting everything together is the key to making it work. Yeah. It's congruency around the offer. Yeah. Week one. Um, uh, the need to learn copywriting and storytelling, changing my mindset. Man, the, the copywriting thing is so big. The copywriting thing is so big, man. I, I, I think, honestly, my big takeaway, can I share one of my takeaways, was um, I, I think it was pretty much around how all of the different, um, how all of the different pieces are so intertwined and, and are so... Uh, interconnected a little bit. So, uh, meaning, you know, your offer, the copy, the funnel, the, all of those different pieces I saw in a new way this time. I, and this is the kind of stuff that I just, I, I'm teaching this and have been teaching exactly this almost daily for the last three to four years. And so I just, I, but I pull out these kind of new nuggets internally and for myself. And, um, if you guys want a really great way to cement all of this into your brain and into your being, it would be to go teach it. So if I was a part of this boot camp, if I was in boot camp, I would I would be documenting my whole process, my whole 30-day process, I'd be documenting it on YouTube saying, "Here's what I learned in week 1 of the Builder All Live boot camp. We we learned to create our our perfect offer." And I would just be, I would, I'd be teaching this back to people who on my YouTube channel, on Facebook lives and groups, I'd be teaching it back to people. That's really where, that's really where you do your best learning. <clears throat> the perfect email and copy. I tried to get the 16 word sales letter, but Amazon couldn't deliver. Yeah. I, some other people had issues with that too. I'm sorry about that. Um, I hate recommending stuff that you can't actually buy. <laughs> Uh, sorry about that. Um, contacting the right people. <clears throat> yeah, get it. Yeah, the right people. Hey, Diana, good to see you. All your hints, their price. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, storytelling, getting your content out there daily. 
Um, hot seat critiques of the bridge page videos. Nice, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I think that that's going to be changing to top 10 in 2020. Yes, Chris. Uh, I don't know that we have a set date for it, but I would imagine January 1st. <laughs> um, or maybe just, you know, it's probably best to do that today. Um, like ASAP, ASA just so that it, you know, gets switched over before 2020. <laughs> um, but I don't have a definitive date on that right now. Michael, welcome in. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us live. Um, Francisco, we're just, for those of you who are just tuning in, we're just sharing a, a few of our things that are, um, that are, uh, that, that have been influential or have, have kind of changed, changed our perspective or things that we've learned in the boot camp. So if you want to share something, um, share away. Day 25. What was day 25? I don't remember. Oh, <laughs> the six part Facebook and Instagram ads. Yeah, that was, that's a, that's a beast of a training. That's a full six video training click by click through Facebook ads. That's, that's a day 25 of the boot camp. Um, I mean that, that alone could sell as a product for $47 that, that alone. Um, not that I'm here to brag or whatever, but it's, it's a really powerful training. Uh, Hey Michelle, good to see you. Welcome in. Uh, I learned so many things. The list is long. <laughs> Um, find out my writing level. Yeah. Want to write a book. Yeah. I, well, here's the crazy part is most of you, I mean, Dave mentioned this in the copywriting section, but most of you have no clue. Um, just, just how, well, I, I shouldn't say bad, but just like Dave is not a great writer. Okay. Not at all. Not a great writer at all. And the cool part about you know, what he's been able to do, he wrote an entire book, an affiliate marketing millionaire book. It's not released to the public yet because he got copies made and then went back through it and realized, oh my gosh, I need to redo it. And he rewrote the entire thing from scratch, like hundreds of pages. And so I, I think, you know, for those of you who are like, geez, I don't know if I could write a book or whatever, what he's been doing and working on recently, and I'll just share this on behalf of you know, on behalf of Dave, it's just, he's just been getting in a mode where he's realizing that he can communicate so much clear, more clearly through the written word. And so he's just gotten the habit of writing and he uses certain tools to make sure he's not, you know, having typos everywhere in his writing or in his at, you know, and he'll go and write an entire, an entire offer letter on, on a sales page and then he'll just be like, hey, guys, publish this offer. Please go look at it and fix the typos and whatever else. And we'll just go pick through it and find all the type, right? And so it's just a matter of writing and writing and writing and writing. And I'll just say, you know, from two months ago to two years ago to today, his writing is so much better and it just, it just naturally improves over time, just forcing your brain to think about it. So... <clears throat> um oops there we go yeah and if i was gonna write a book i mean i would probably just just go with a pdf here at first just get a pdf launched at first and then and then try to move on to you know further beyond that later so um Cool. Where is my, oh, here we go. Yeah, what else? For those of you who just came in, Monica, Michelle, tell me what, what's one thing you took away from the boot camp? Any questions you have or what, you know, what stood out to you in the training? What, what's pushed you, you know, what have you done since starting the boot camp that you typically don't do? What's a new habit that's formed if, if you formed a new habit? Um, yeah, T tell me a little bit about just just where you at. What questions do you guys have? 
you guys have any any marketing you want me to look at while we're live here on the call? Do we want to do a hot seat? What are we doing? What do you guys think? Or are y'all good? Just having a good week. Just wanted to hang out. I'm good with that too. <laughs> What would I focus the content of the PDF on to get started? You know, um, here's my theory. Um, I could take this a lot of different ways, Michelle. I, I mean, I could, I could take this a way of just like, you know, create a five, a, a, a f top 10 mistakes I made when starting a business online or, you know, what I usually tell people is, is start with the mistakes that you made because before you've had successes, usually there's mistakes, right? Um, and mistakes and really mistakes are just kind of like, you know, crumbs on a trail, right? Like mice sometimes follow crumbs or ants follow crumbs or whatever. Um, usually there's a trail of failures that lead down the path to success. So, um, creating PDFs around, you know, 10 failures, whatever that kind of stuff works. But my bigger overarching theory when it comes to like, what should I create in terms of content? Well, if you're asking that question, I would say dive, a, dive one layer deeper and just say, what do you enjoy? I mean, like what, what do you really enjoy? Like what my question, I'm not sure if this is the right thing for everybody or not, but my question has always been this. What, what is something that I get excited about waking up at four or five in the morning for? Or if you already wake up at four or five in the morning, what's something you uh, like when, when you go to bed at night, you set your alarm two hours earlier so you can get up and do these X, Y, Z things that are exciting to you, right? Is it creating a new website? Is it so is it, is it designing a new software? Is it creating a podcast? What are, what are the real, like, what are those things that, that just excite you so much you get lost in time and you forget and then you pull an all nighter? That's what I would start creating content around because then it becomes easy and smooth and there's less friction. Um, that's it. Um, I thought of journaling on Instagram as I started doing the, the YouTube idea is great. Yep. Um, <clears throat> learn to work from the sale, sales page backwards. Yeah, I'm telling you, Dave is a master at offers and he, the first thing he does for any offer is he goes and writes the sales page every time. Um, bought a house, couldn't follow today, it's moving along. Yeah, Monica, it'll stay open for 30 days. So you got plenty of time. You'll have plenty of time to go through things. Um, uh, brilliant angle on the leveraging mistakes. Um, building a story brand. Oh, man. Yeah. Chris, what do you think about building a story brand? You like the book so far? I mean, it's really good. Um, yeah, you can catch up. Of course you can catch up, Monica. Of course you can. Um meditation cool so donna create some content around you know uh three meditation hacks or i i you know i don't know um cool not a lot of questions today slow moving a little bit that's cool it's kind of a dreary little day here in phoenix i'm pretty low energy today sometimes i get you know, all, all amped up and fired up and just kind of uh, feeling that, well, Donna, I'm feeling the meditation vibe today. I think that's what I'm feeling. Feeling a kind of relaxed, low key, a little bit of a slower vibe today. Cool. I, yeah, I like, I like, uh, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of good stuff on here around offer creation. I think a lot of people 
at least from the messages I got and from the comments and everything, I think that offer creation thing was really huge. So that's great. Cool. You guys all good? I don't, I'm just not getting much questions. So I'm, I mean, I'm cool with that. Um, if you guys want to over the next, you know, day or two, you guys can feel free by all means to, um, to, uh, you know, drop in the discussion here in the group, just, you know, Hey, I want to critique on this landing page or, Hey, I launched these ads or whatever. I'm happy to, I'm happy to go through and kind of take a look at everything. So, um, best tricks to build day after day email. So can set never end. Yeah, you can, you can definitely Monica, you can reach out for sure. On my first Facebook ad, hey, if it's my first ever Facebook ad, Alisa, I would spend five bucks a day. Just just start out real small and start generating some lead flow. Um, generally speaking, you want to be spending about so whatever your whatever the result is for Facebook ads. So if you set up a conversion campaign for leads and you make your conversion event leads you usually want to be spending two times as much on a daily basis as what it costs you to get a new lead. So I usually recommend like on the low end spending five bucks a day because you're probably going to start to get leads for like two to three dollars per lead or so, maybe a little higher. And on the higher end, ten dollars a day just to start and then just slowly scale that every couple of days, meaning Every three or four days, just bump it up another five bucks and just do that really slowly over time. Um, but I would just, I, I always tell people start with a real small amount, launch it out, and start to see what works and then adjust from there. Um, <clears throat> uh, I can check the day 27. Um, I'm not sure on day 27 if there was a Facebook, if there was a PDF or not. There was less of them towards the end. Uh, let's see. I can double check that for you real quick since we're here. Um, free traffic on YouTube. So um, the... There, there. For day twenty-seven, there was not a, there was slides, but there was not a PDF guide. Rose on that one, there was not a PDF. There was just slides for it. Um, I was thinking about leads. Yeah, I usually recommend setting up a conversion campaign, Elisa, for leads, and then uh, you know, starting anywhere from five to ten bucks a day. Um, funny and I can't. Thank you, Gloria. I appreciate it. Merry Christmas to you too. I love it. That's, yeah, that's really kind. Thanks. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, cool. I like it. I was just going to say, Mark, uh, best tricks to day after day. I have a great email sequence that never ends. So, um, Yeah, and and uh, we're, we'll compile all the PDFs together into one file and just post it in here. So there's just one massive one too. Um, uh, Michelle, so it, it just depends. Remember, I I can't offer you an angle because I don't know who you're marketing this to specifically. So I don't know. Remember, I I can't help you build an angle. Um, because I don't know the audience of who you're best marketing to or who you've marketed to in the past. Um, so I, I guess it just depends on that. Lead generation is a sticking point. I feel like uh, I feel that what I offer on my lead magnet might not be of value. Or is it that we are so involved? It doesn't look that appealing to us. Yeah, Steve, this is a great this is a great one, Steve. Good question. So, a lot of times we as marketers become jaded about the value of what it is that we're offering. So, 
you know, after I've sat through 1500 hours of training and I've taught thousands and thousands of hours worth of trainings online, I, I become a little bit jaded about what I know and I start to devalue myself. Don't do that. Just know, just get a good offer in front of people. There's look, even if I've only generated 10 leads from Facebook and I create a guide on how I made my first 10 leads, there's going to be gurus out there who are going to say, Oh my gosh, are you serious? your first 10 leads and you're going to go market that to people. And then there's going to be this whole massive pond of people who have no idea how to generate leads. We're going to click on that freaking ad. They're going to download their PDF and they're going to message you, Steve. And they're going to say, Oh my gosh, I've never generated a lead in my life. I've been trying to figure out how I, how do I generate leads? And this is actually helpful. I can't believe you just taught me how to do that. That's incredible. <laughs> Look, I, look, guys, I think the bottom line is, is if you can help people get a result that they're looking for, most people will pay just about any dollar amount. If you really help them, if you really help them get a result that they're looking for. So, you know, for me, it was like for a long time, I, I sold this specific, this tiny little freebie giveaway thing that was generating leads on Facebook for local businesses. And, and because that little tiny guide was so helpful, people would literally share it with, with like people down the, like they would share it, the link without any affiliate referral at all. They would just share it with other business owners just because it was like, I, you got to see this. Like, this is so good. And, and when you get to that place, then when you're like, Hey, by the way, if you want to work, work with me it's a thousand bucks. Or if you want a full day of training, it's a thousand dollars. It's $2,000 or whatever. You can personally get me one-on-one -on -one and they'll, people will pay any amount of money. So just keep that in mind. I mean, the end goal should just be helping somebody get a result. And what is a result that you can help them get, right? Maybe you're just a builder all affiliate. Well, the result that you can help people get is getting a website live in 30 minutes or less. I mean, if you can demo that and show that to people and how easy it is and how simple it is, like the signing people up for a software, is just, that's easy. Everybody needs a website. A website makes it real. A website makes it real. I mean, if it's an advertising deal or if it's a marketing deal, I mean, just showing people how to get a result and helping them do that, that it'll price becomes irrelevant at that point. I mean, unless you're priced at like, you know, $18,000 price just becomes irrelevant at that point. So, but don't undervalue what you know, especially after going through this boot camp. Jeez. Don't undervalue what you know. <clears throat> it's exactly my dream. Cool. I like that, Monica. Cool. Do we have any other questions? If not, we're going to rock and roll. We're going to get out of here. And then if you guys have additional questions or you want someone to look over, uh, an ad or look over uh, an email sequence or whatever, you can post it into the group for the next 30 days. And, uh, it, you know, if I see it there, I, I'm just not going to make any guarantees, but uh, if I have just a little bit of time, I'll open it up on my screen and create a little critique for you and send it right back and, and post it in the group so everybody can see it. So uh, I think we're going to wrap this thing up. Not a lot of questions. Happy you guys made it on here live. And uh, hey, give yourself a little pat on the back for, for making it through the 30 day boot camp. This has been, I mean, this is an intensive, um, you know, we wrapped up with this thing Dave and I did and we were just like, man, <laughs> I, I don't feel like I've created something that powerful in a long time. And it stretched even, I mean, it stretched me. Um, so I was happy to be a part of it with you guys and uh, congrats on being part of the inaugural group. I mean, that's a huge achievement too. So, hey, Drill Sergeant signing out.
Take it easy, everybody. Good to see you. Thanks, Monica. Thanks, Michelle, Gloria. Thanks for everybody showing up. Davida, Elisa, Steve. Good to see you. <clears throat> Hopefully you all have a, a good rest of your December and holiday season. Uh, Mark, thanks for popping in here, Mark. Good to see you. Have a happy holiday season, and uh, you know, don't be a stranger. Always reach out if you need anything. Lisa, good to see you. Chaz, see you guys. Thanks so much. Have a great rest of your holidays, and uh, and rock on. So, take it easy, everybody. See ya.